How's the uh, sound volumes? Can you hear the game? The music? The stuff's going on? The talking? It's good, it's good. Right, hi guys. Welcome to uh, Path of Exile. Closed beta. Still very much a work in progress. They're continuously improving it, but uh, just got an invite earlier today, so uh, can I check this shit out? I'm not sure which class I should play. There are uh, quite a few to pick from. I think there's one more. Actually, I know there's one more that's not announced yet that they'll be adding. Um, the ranger here, duelist. Come on, duelist. Waha! Jesus, these animations, man. These animations. They're kind of cool. Uh, which. I'm not sure what to play here. She's floating! Burn the witch. Anyway, so the Templar, I think he's the uh, strength and intelligence uh, mix. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like a melee character with uh, spells. The Marauder is the pure strength one. Like a barbarian or something. Melee. Look at that hair. That's ridiculous. Ranger's the pure dexterity one. With her little bow. Ranged weapons, fighter. The duelist, I think, is uh, dexterity and strength. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, dexterity and strength mix. Uh, like a rogue type thing I guess and the witch is the pure intelligence one there's also a dexterity intelligence one that they haven't announced yet and added yet oh well uh, what should I play guys which ranger templar which 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 I'll go for which dope which oh cool this is patch um, 0.9.1 It just got released a couple of days ago, but I didn't play it before this so I don't really know the differences All right, and we're waking up on the twilight strand Wake up witch. Why are you in the water? Why are you in water? Dying exile a new life Can I hide this chat? Whoa, 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 oh, okay, uh Whoa! Did he just turn into a zombie? <laughs> Fuck you, man! What's this? Monoflask. Hang on. I think there's an option to hide this chat. I don't want it up. Uh, uh, hide global chat to play. Thank you. So a bond here. It's very Diablo-esque, this game. Minor life flask. Minor mana flask. Alright. Uh... So apparently that guy just spawned as a zombie. Crazy. Corpse. Ooh, Ooh yellow item. Yellow is the second rarity. They're like blue. Well, white is the original one, then there's blue and then there's yellow. So yellow is like kind of good rare or something, I guess. I guess they're called rares. White being normal, blue being uh, magic and yellow being rare. Oh, sweet. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Damn it! I'm being attacked! Get off me! Oh, wow, there's a lot of enemies here. Holy shit. I got like a wand or something. I'm Harry Potter! Or Hermione Granger, maybe. Because I'm a girl. How do I do this? Right click and then left click. Bone Slaughter! Driftwood Club! Increased physical damage. Can you guys read the texts, by the way? I hope they're fine. Increased attack speed. Accuracy rating. Cold resistance. This is awesome. I sure wish I could have this on my first Marauder instead. Die, evil scum! Zombies! One shots everything! No! Go away! 
Silly zombies. Haha. Driftwood bow. Goddamn sand spitters attacking me with their asses. Is that really Sander spitting at me? Goddamn crazy shit. Corpse. Nothing. Alright, here's the map by the way. It's uh, like a Diablo 2 style map that fills in as you go. Minor life less, I guess I'll take that. Now let's keep the map off for a bit, because it... It's mm, not too pretty on the stream, I bet. I just leveled as well, sweet. You just, uh, oh, Greaves. Can I wear those? Ah, Greaves. Ooh, they show up on the character as well. That's nice. Hmm, I wonder if they have a set amount of, like, uh, uh, models on the actual character, or if, like in Diablo, where it's like three different looks, or if everything is kind of like have a, its own model. Plate vest, full plate witch. Let's do it. This is not how you play witch. Notched blade. Hmm. Is this the real Diablo three? Yeah, pretty much. This is more Diablo than Diablo three is. Damn it. Got them some books. Running enemies! Come here, you! No! Come here! There you go. What was that? Plate vest with a blue socket. I'll take that. I'll explain games and sockets once we get to them. Creeps. Notched blade does nothing at all. Never updates. Goddamn notched blades. <laughs> A scroll of some kind. No, nope. don't hit me, bro. What? Oh, yeah, there it is. Scroll of wisdom. They're like scrolls of identify. They help. Um, they identify. Uh, what the hell? I can't see if there's a difference in those sockets. I guess they're the same color. That's kind of bad. It should be more clear than it is. Yeah, the scroll of identify is for magic and rare items. You identify their mods, their modifiers. Another scroll. It's also a uh, currency in this game, at least so far. I'm not sure if they plan on changing it or not. But you use the scrolls to buy stuff. Goddamn sand spitter. Iron gauntlets. Blue ones. Ooh, a rusted cask. Oh man, it's so ugly. <laughs> Uh, I guess it is just a shitty rusty helmet. Uh, let's identify these gloves here. Plus the maximum life, faster hit recovery. Sounds good. Uh oh. Kill Hillock. Uh oh. Is this guy gonna hit hard or? <laughs> Fuck you, Hillock! <laughs> ah. Whoa! I wonder if he does increase damage after he pulls his sword like that. I just took a potion, I should be able to beat him quite easily since this is first uh, still the tutorial area. There we go. Ooh, loads of stuff. Alright, you've killed Hillock. Enter the encampment for your reward. Hooray! Shore encampment. Um... Flipping Kamikaze, as far as I understand, the uh, the basic premise for this story is that you've been uh, exiled from your home country, from your home country, I can't even speak, into like this post, post, uh, post-apocalyptic world of uh, Raycast or Raycast or something like that. So basically you're, you've been exiled from your home and I guess your ship here uh, broke down in the storm or something, so you just wake up, wash the shore on the beach. Of quest. Here's another player. Hi, Sword, 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 Twang, and Hades. Is that a guy or? I guess that's a Templar. Hmm. Nessa, welcome to our home away from home. For what it's worth, I'm Nessa. You're lucky that great slab of meat you somehow dispatched. That was Hillock. 
He's eaten stronger exiles than you, don't count on that luck lasting. It's in short supply here in Rayclast. Yeah, Ray Rayclast. Hmm. Still, you've rid us of a curse and we owe you our thanks. Talk to Tarkley, he may have something for you. These um, menus and the uh, conversations are still temporary. I think they're going to add voice acting and some stuff like that. Uh, also, selling is not enabled in this beta build. So there's no point in like uh, hoarding items you won't use. As you can see, the uh, items in the store require like Scroll of Wisdom Portal Scroll, and then uh, like Whetstone, Orb of Argumentation. It's like stuff you use to upgrade your gear and stuff like that. Instead of having gold, you actually use uh, like rare resources, Orb of Transmutation, that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, okay. Encampment. It's much none. It's not much, but it's ours. I'd advise you to stay. We could use you while you live, but you should. But should you wish to venture out, do for me but one thing. Out on the coast, amongst the rocks or the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Did I just get a quest or? Hmm. Oh wait, Q is bound to one of my skills. Where's the quest log then? Chaser... You, okay. Anime at the gate. Nope, didn't get a quest. Oh well. Bestel! Ah, judging by those eyes of yours, I'd best count you as a friend. I wouldn't last long as a foe. <laughs> Captain Bestel of the Merigal, at your service. What little service I can offer these dark days. Thanks to the sirens, my ship's gone. My crew's gone, but my wits remain after a fashion. Jesus God, the encampment. Ghastly place, only slightly more comfortable than a siren's gullet. That said, you'll find no finer accommodation in all of Rayclast. Okay, how about Nessa? Poor girl, not even... Not even a mal... What? Not even a... What? Not even a mother... <laughs> I'm a retard. Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for all of us here. And a more sickly, pathetic brood you've never seen. May she live to have her own family, a real family, if anyone deserves that. Nessa does. The medicine chest. Oh, oh, here's the quest. Oh, okay. It was for... Uh, Nessa spoke about it, but we got it from this guy. That's kind of weird. You're going to need more than a doctor's potions to make this land feel better. My ship's kindling. I saw my ship's doctor eaten by a singing squid. Oh, boy. But amongst the splinters of board and bone somewhere, you may find the doctor's medicine chest. If it's still there, the medicine chest will have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands op Optum was lousy with a scalpel, and even worse with a saw. <laughs> Dr. Shaky Hands! But he knew his apothe apothecary he did. Explain the shaky hands if you ask me. Alright. Goodbye. Here's my stash. Uh, you have like four pages, huge stash. It's shared between all your characters though, so uh, yeah, you can like transfer items to different characters without any hassle, which is very nice. What is that guy playing? It's huge. Or is that? Yeah, he is a player, level three. Wait, he's upstairs as well. Damn it, Torkley! I didn't want to click, click on you. Look at how big that guy is compared to me. Poor little witch. Add friend. Invite the guild. Not working and send main not working either. I guess they're not implemented. Alright, Tarkley, what did you say? Fine work with Helloc. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. I probably don't want to know. Still, you've made my job a damn sight easier. Keeping Nessa and the rest alive. Hard enough without that rot rotten hulk to contend with. So here, take one of these skill gems. And no need to thank me. I'm only thinking of myself and the others here, of course. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Okay. Claim Hillock Reward! Alright, so we get to choose our first skill gem. Or gem. Whatever. Ice Spear. Launch a shot of ice. Or fireball. Or freezing pulse. Hmm. An icy projectile. Proje projectile? What's a projectile? What do I get? Ice Spear, Fireball, or Freezing Pulse? Two ice skills, but only one fire. 
Fireball, fire, fire, ice spear, fire. I'm gonna grab the fireball then. Unleash is a burning ball of fire. Great balls of fire. All right. Uh, goodbye. Let's uh, see if we have a blue socket. We do in our there and there. All right. So basically, you don't actually when you level up, you don't actually gain skills, but instead you have to find these skill gems, as they're called, which you then socket into items of the correct color, of course. Like blue gems go in blue sockets. You can unsocket them whenever you want. Then you get the skill. And then when you play and kill monsters, the game the games level up uh, with you. They gain experience. So basically your skills get better as you go on. Which is kinda cool. Anyway, no need for this. I keep the vine wand. Uh, oh there's a better one here, I'll identify that. Increased physical damage, fire damage, that's awesome. Let's put it on. But Dual wielding. Fuck yeah, dual wielding wands. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, I uh, don't need this one. I'll identify this bow though. Nah, I can keep it, I guess, if I ever make a ranger. Or something else that uses bows. I have a huge dash anyway. As I said, there's no selling right now, so... Uh, no real point in uh, keeping a bunch of stuff you don't need. I keep trying to press Q to open up the quest. I hope this UI is uh, temporary. It probably is, because it's not very good. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna get improved, no doubt. Oh yeah, I leveled, by the way. Um, I hope you guys are ready. If you haven't seen this skill tree, you might get a little overwhelmed once I click here. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, it's definitely not small. This is gonna get redesigned as well, though. Especially knowing that you can't scroll, you can't get an overview of it, you can't, like, zoom out. But it's gonna get added, apparently. So, uh, yeah, there are very many paths to go here. Basically, there's three main paths, which is strength, uh, dexterity, and intelligence. And then the paths converge at points, so you can go like into strength and go up to intelligence. And for the, the multi-spec classes. Basically, even though I'm a witch, I could go for melee damage and stuff like that. But my character will be weaker for it. You also get your attributes from these uh, passive skills. If I, if I get this one, for example, I get 2 strength, 2 dexterity, and 8 intelligence. If I pick the others, I get 2 strength, 4 dexterity, and 2 intelligence. And here, 4 strength, and 2 of the rest. So basically, I get more total stats if I go into intelligence, because I'm the witch. But I could go for any of the others if I want to. But, uh... Let's see what we got here. Cast speed, critical strike rating, hmm, mana mana, critical strike rating, critical strike rating, yeah that seems like a good path to go I guess. Dagger, claw, hmm, reduced mana costs, additional minions, there's like a little bit of a summoner ring going on here. Shield block, huh. Energy shield, oh that, I want that. What's over here then? Fire damage, burn duration, lightning, shock duration, freeze duration, and cold damage. Ooh, resistances as well. Mana, going over here, staff damage, mace damage, buff effects. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm just going to try to go uh, for this crit rating, go up here, and then uh, see where it takes me. Probably go for these energy shields, and then maybe go into one of these trees. Actually, let's see what's on the edges here. Fire damage. This is basically a big chunk of fire damage and stuff like that, I guess. Yep. What's over here? Mana region. Lightning. Oh well. Uh, right. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the critical strike rating. 6% increased critical strike rating for all damage. That's good. 
See if we can't find some monsters. Ooh, get away, seagulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Glass shard. Oh, it's a dagger. Oh, no need to save that. Go away, withered husk. Ooh, scroll. Skulking wretch. All right. Oh, it says the fireball. Ooh, I love the effect. Hmm, the impact lacks a little bit of oomph, I guess. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Wonder if it's AoE. Oh yeah, it is AoE. Awesome. Pew pew. It's like a um, dual wielding guns, man. Love this this wand stuff. It's great. Mana region? I think it does. Uh, yeah, it does. That's cool. I guess you can increase mana region as well with talents and stuff. Get away, seagulls! <laughs> I love those. Uh oh. Wait, does that guy throw things? Ooh, level up. Refills your mana and health. That's nice. I love that. Whoa, there's a lot of things here. Hmm, the cast speed on this is kind of slow. I need to increase that as I go on. God damn it, the withered husks. Ooh, a sash and the rusted cask. Let's identify it. Armor, ooh, life region on that thing. That's awesome. Very much armor as well. Let's throw out the old one. I guess we're searching for the medi medicine cabinet. <laughs> pretty much fit, Nick. Pretty much. Feels like Christmas morning. Iron gauntlets. What did I have? Oh, something blue. Let's see here. Oh, dead end. Chest! Greaves! Let's see what they are. Increased armor, increased mana regeneration. Ah, oh, see? Just as I talk about mana region, I get some mana region boots. Sweet. Oh man. Coming out of the woodworks, Captain. Some mana flask there, donated. All of the potions in this game are. Uh, well, they're called flasks instead of potions, but they're, um... Damn it, they're permanent, so uh, you don't need to stack up your full inventory with potions. Instead, you only have these five slots. Which you can fill, and uh, as you fight and kill monsters, they uh, fill back up. Like, if I take a drink, and then... Well, actually, let's empty it so it shows better. It does zero charges now. Every time I kill a monster, I'm gonna get a charge in that flask. There we have one charge. Once I reach 10 charges, I can drink again. And then you can get uh, magic and rare flask with modifiers as well, which is really nice. Things like increased heal duration and stuff like that. There you see the flask filled up a bit because I killed some monsters. It's kind of similar to the health globe system of Diablo 3, but it's more tactical instead, and the fact that you can get different health flasks makes it really cool in my opinion. I really like the system. <laughs> sure didn't, Craig. Thank you. Again. Ooh, fine one. I need that. I only have one shitty wand. Oh, I hear movement. Go away! I'm trying to inventory! There's no pausing in this game, since it's an online-only game. You can never pause, so you always have to be on your toes a bit. Of course, you're safe in town, etc, but... Alright. Oh, one still physical damage. I guess that makes sense. And this one has a bit of extra damage. That's nice. This one also has fire damage. Awesome. Mm, portal scroll. I guess everybody knows what that does. Just 
brings your portal back to town. Dune scavenger. Leave this place. What's a vine circlet? Is that a helm? Oh, I did. Uh, no? I don't know. Oh, it is. Oh! It's got energy shield. So instead of giving me armor, it gives me the shield. Uh, let's see if I can take some damage. Here we go. Just. So when I take damage, instead of taking from my HP, it'll take from the shield instead. And the shield regenerates quickly. Um, once you're out of combat, so basically you have a bit of a buffer. There we go, now it's fully regent again. So yeah, you get like a bit of a buffer uh, uh, before your health starts draining again. I think it's mainly intelligence type items which have the shield on them, so it's like good for witches like I am, so I'm gonna just keep it. Wand dual wielding, fuck yeah. Indeed. Congratulations, you are now Protoss! Fuck yeah! I got my shield zone. For ire! My wife for ire! My wife for ire! Uh oh, Eminis! Go away, Eminis! Pew, pew, pew! Plate vest. It looks kinda silly with the little crown and then the plate vest. I wish there was a um, way to zoom in so you can see your character a bit better. Or like, if you click the button you would get a 3D preview that you could like zoom around and look how your character looked a bit more. Because it seems fairly detailed, like, but it's a bit hard to see exactly what's going on down there because it's so small. Maybe it will come, it's been suggested so we'll see. No, you can't zoom out or in. The camera is fixed in this game. Hmm. I guess still got something to explore down here. What is this called? Terraces. Okay. Go away, evil wither husk. Chest. I heard a scroll. Portal scroll. <laughs> EMP and I'm fucked. Man, better keep those ghosts away. Your fireball gem is now level 2. Alright. I uh, wonder if you can see the differences. What happened to it? Where is it? There it is. 11 to 17 fire damage. That's a lot more than last time, but I'm not sure what 